Hello guys, this is Jones1095 and this will be another homemade video. This will be of me building my crossbow. Um, doesn't look like much right now, I just got all the materials. Uh, I'll tell you what they are. Um, I got a little inspiration from the TSRAA guy on YouTube. And I've always wanted to make my crossbow so I'm going to start today. Uh, these will be the prods, which I believe is the correct term. So it will be uh, supplying the energy when you bend it back. This will be what pushes the string forward and the bolt or whatever your projectile is. So this is CPVC half inch, or three quarter inch rather I believe. Yeah, three quarter inch. CPVC because it's a bit more flexible, it won't shatter. Um, in theory, it'll just kind of bend like a straw. Almost exactly quarter from that TSRA guy. Um, these are just wooden dowels. I believe these are quarter inch thick, I really don't know. These just will go inside of the CPVC just for a little bit more energy. Got a bunch of nuts and bolts and washers in here. Um, this little piece is oak wood which is a pretty tough and durable little piece of wood which will be my mechanism because that's going to be the part that's most under stress and then some wood glue because I'm going to be layering this and gluing it together. Um, and this wood right here is just, I don't know what type of wood exactly but just standard wood. It's 12 inches wide, half inch thick, and six foot long. And I got two lengths of that just in case I'm gonna screw up because this will be what makes up the main body of the crossbow. So this is my original design. This will um, hopefully be what it looks like in theory. I'm gonna smooth out these edges right here, these sharp corners, and I'm gonna make them curvy more like this right there. So it's easier for my Dremel to get in there and sand it out and keep it nice having a smooth shape to it. And the mechanism is your standard crossbow mechanism, just like that. So there's the trigger, pull it, this goes forward, lets the string go, and the projectile goes out to the bolt. And then that's what, it'll be, that's what it'll look like from the front. You can see the layers right there. The middle layer is going to be a little bit lower, so it'll make a track for the bolt to slide on. And then I'm going to sand down the outer two pieces. And then this will be the prods right there. Um, I did this all in Microsoft Paint, so... This is it, and I'm probably going to try to add some rails up there, and this will be the piece that holds down the bolt, or once again, our projectile I'm shooting, and this will catch the string so it doesn't shoot over and get tangled up underneath here or anything like that. So I'm not sure if I want to make this a compound crossbow or just a standard crossbow, but either way, it should look cool in the end, so this part will just kind of be showing me making all the parts, not assembling it. So here we go. I'm finally ready to cut. It's, uh like 8, 15 or 8, 30 out here. I made a lot of mistakes and I had to change my design a little bit um, going from paper to wood but mostly the same the only major change is the length in what I'm gonna call the barrel I know this is a crossbow I'm not sure in the proper terminology but I'm just gonna call this a barrel I had to make this a little bit longer than it looked in the picture this is 20 and a half, 23 and inches actually. Um, I measured the pool I could get out of the CPUC without breaking or bending it. So that's um, 20 and a half, in 23, I'm sorry, 23 inches. And uh, still got this thing in here. I'm going to try to put rails on top. Um, and there's still another piece I'm going to have to cut out for here. It's going to be independent from this uh, piece. I'm going to just call it border for now. Um, but this is going to be both the outside and inside. I'm going to cut two at once. So I just clamp the boards down really tight. Um, and this is where I had to change. There's a stock right here. I had to uh, make this a lot thicker so I could keep the mechanism. I had to draw a mock-up uh, in here so I can keep the mechanism completely internal. And I wouldn't have any parts showing. Uh, obviously apart from the trigger. But when I pull the trigger, a little, little peg is going to come out down here, which I had planned and I want that to happen. Um, just for ease of getting in here if anything breaks I got that remake it and um, redesign it or anything like that so I'm gonna start cutting I'm not gonna put it on camera because it's gonna take quite a long time uh, but I'll show you my results so I'm gonna take my time on this so I just finished cutting everything out got three layers what's gonna happen is this will be in the middle this is hollowed out for the mechanism right there um, so I've got one two, two layers of there, and three. 
So it'll be like, uh, you can see the mechanism will be down in there. And then I'll put the prods down here. And this should work out. Uh, there's going to be a lot of sanding since I cut out all these by hand. Uh, there's a lot of imperfections. Um, so there's going to be a lot of sanding that needs to be done. Hopefully I'll have some wood left over and I'm done sanding. <clears throat> but either way, it should look pretty nice. I'm going to have to really file down the handle here. Because if you can see, it's pretty darn thick. It's probably around two and a half inches. I said the board was a half inch thick, but it's not right. Or else it would have been just an inch and a half instead of uh, two and a half inches. So it's 11 o'clock out right now. It took me a really long time to cut all this stuff out. I started at 8.15, if you remember me saying that. Um, so it just basically took a long time because of all these really uh, intricate cuts here. It took a lot of a lot of time to just get them out and uh, not screw up the wood because I've only got I only had one chance on everything, so I had to really slow down. Uh, I screwed up on one of these, but anyways, I'm gonna go in and glue these, let it set overnight, and that'll be the start of part two. So thank you for watching. Mm hmm.